Super Bowl is here. Purple not in it. Viking fans can only relive the old days. What's it going to take to get back to the big game? The Vikings' main man is here to lay that out. The coaching legend in the house, John Gallardi, on a rare TV visit, gives us the state of the game through his amazing career. And great to have TV sports anchor Don Mitchell on this Super Sunday. It's all ahead. It's game on. The Green Bay Packers are going to win because they're the most storied franchise in the NFL. They're going to keep up that tradition. It's going to be a tough fight. I know Pittsburgh, arguably the other most storied franchise in NFL history. But you know what? Green Bay all the way. And I said it in Minneapolis. Don't forget it. <laughs> and yes, Packer fans are in heaven. And a very happy Super Bowl Sunday to you. I'm Rod Simons. Delighted you have found Game On, powered by the Courtside Bar and Grill in Anoka. And yes, it is Super Bowl Sunday. Delighted you're with us. and. Super Bowl is going to be here on Fox all day long. It's the Packers and the Steelers. It's what we're talking about. And if you are a football fan, if you are a sports fan, this is truly the day you live for. So let's get to it. Let's show you our game on by the numbers. And as we break it down, you can't go one way or the other. You have to pick one of these two teams. Pittsburgh versus Green Bay. Super Bowl 45. Last meeting, 13 months ago, the Steelers win 37 to 36, 973 yards of total offense in that game. Aaron Rodgers for Green Bay inside Dome Stadiums, and the game will be inside Cowboy Stadium with the roof closed. He has the best percentage of any quarterback over the last few years. 12 games, 25 touchdowns, six interceptions is all. His rating nearly 112. Pittsburgh's defense is tough against the run. 62 yards rushing allowed in a game, but 12th, a little bit soft on the pass, still good, but 12th ranked against the pass. Don't forget, we'll be talking about the CBA discussions that will take center stage after the game and the NFL draft down the road a little bit, April 28th in New York City. And couldn't be more delighted on this Super Bowl Sunday than to have the Vice President Player Personnel, Rick Spillman, in the house. Thank you for being with us. Thanks for having me. You've been a busy man. You've been traveling a lot uh, since the end of the season. Fill us in real quickly on what you've been up to. Well, you know, we went through the coaching process originally, right. and Leslie came out to be our head coach, and I know everybody in the organization from our ownership on down is very excited about that. Me. And then um, went through the process of uh, Leslie filling out his staff, which we're very excited about. Right. The It's hard to go through some of the changes that you had to go through, and Leslie made some tough calls on some guys because we think they're all very good football coaches, but very excited about the new staff that we were able to bring in. So once that segment kind of got settled in a little bit, we've been working over the last two weeks, uh, heading to the East-West All-Star Game. Yeah. Um, we were at the Senior Bowl last week. This week we started our process involving our coaches on personnel and looking at potentially what's going to happen in the UFA. Mark, we had a meeting today on the draft and uh, getting ready up. Next event will be uh, the Combine. Real quickly, it, it's hard to have a crystal ball, but you would like the CBA to be taking care of the collective bargaining agreement so you know that there's a season and you can, you got a lot of free, like almost 20 free agents. <laughs> Yeah, and we, we're looking to address that now. Right now, we're in a phase where everything is normal. But if there is a lockout that occurs right. at that March 4th when it would occur, we still have to prepare ourselves as like mm. there's not going to be a lockout. So for us on the personnel side and working, um, getting ready for the draft and free agency when it does, and hopefully it will go off and, and then we'll get that CBA uh, finalized, then we'll be ready to go. My understanding is there will be a draft regardless, wouldn't there? Yeah, regardless. If there's a lockout, there will be a draft. All that will stay in check. So yeah. essentially you can go out in March. We'll be out working out those uh, college players in March. We'll have our what we call our top 30 players come right. into our facility. I've seen the war room, too. It is very, <laughs> very impressive. But once that draft is over and if it's still a lockout situation, then it's uh, just like all the other players. We won't be able to have any contact with them. Now... It's Super Bowl Sunday, Steelers and Packers. We got very close last year. Does it, quite frankly, drive you crazy that you're not there? <laughs> Every year it drives me crazy that I'm not there yeah. and that our team is not there, and it's very, very hard to watch. It tells you, though, how tough our division was yeah. with the way uh, Chicago played this year and Green Bay. But it also tells you, you know, like Pittsburgh for last year wasn't even in the playoffs. Right. This year they're back in the Super Bowl. So 
every year is a new year, and I know we're looking forward to uh, getting this thing going in 2011. Behind the camera is a Green Bay sweatshirt. I'm not looking. <laughs> I, I, I know that. The, I've been staring at you this whole I, time. I, I cannot see that G. Do you pull for the Packers <laughs> since they're kind of in the division and they're pseudo family, so to speak? I know that drives some Viking fans wild. <laughs> No, I, you know, I, I don't pull for either. I have some good friends on the Pittsburgh oh, side and, yeah. and with Mike Tomlin when he was here in Minnesota and have some good friends on the Green Bay side. So I kind of stay neutral. They both are very talented football teams and both deserving to be in that game. We got a lot to talk about. When we come back, we're going to be talking more about the Favre experiment that happened, has come and gone, some of the players that will be here possibly and not. But don't forget, you can actually be here with us at a taping. Come join us at the Courtside Bar and Grill in Anoka. Next week, Brian Lawton, former NHL veteran, is going to be here. Swarm players as well. We give away tickets, free raffle, food drinks, specials, and more. It's Game On, powered by the Courtside Bar and Grill. More in just a moment. Looking for a great night out on the town without breaking your budget? Then take advantage of the Wolves' meal deal. For just $19, you get a $20 game ticket, hot dog, chips, and a Pepsi. The meal deal is available for Friday and Saturday night home games, including this Saturday when the Philadelphia 76ers come to Target Center. Log on to Timberwolves.com slash meal deal to get yours today. River City Saloon is the place for food, music, fun, and bikers. Bikers get the best parking spot, and inside from business people to bikers, everyone's gonna have a great time. Create your own bucket list at the River City Saloon. There are specials every night of the week and live music all weekend. Get us online at hollysrivercitysaloon.com and look for the awning just off Maine and Anoka, right in the heart of the historic Anoka Entertainment District. See you soon at the River City Saloon. I see the Steelers taking home the Super Bowl this year. Number five's waiting for them. I think the Packers have shown great success over the remaining part of the last season. But I think with Big Ben's experience going into the Super Bowl, they're going to take it. Welcome back. It's Game On, powered by the Courtside Bar and Grill Super Sunday. Packers and Steelers, and that fan wants the Pittsburgh Steelers for a number of reasons, as he just told us. Great to have Rick Spielman in the house, the vice president of player personnel, de facto GM, too, in, in many regards, since you'll be handpicking the players with Coach Frazier. I've been asking a lot of the alums and some of the players if it feels like it's a rebuilding time. They don't say, they say more retooling. Do you buy that? Yeah, I think we have a lot of very good young players on this roster, and there'll be a lot of guys that may not be on this roster next year that were currently on this past roster, but we also have a lot of young talent that people haven't really got a chance to notice yet right. and feel very strongly about the young talent that we have and the core and the nucleus that we have around our football team. So we're going to have to add through the draft and maybe add something through the free agency, but feel feel we're not well, it's not a rebuilding at all. It's a little bit of a retooling per se, but not. Uh, I, we feel very confident in what we have on our roster at quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> I've been dying to ask you this question. Well, it, it took you this long to get there. Jeez, <laughs> you got some work to do. <laughs> very excited about the challenge. Okay, and uh, you know we're looking at all the avenues at the quarterback. Yeah. Uh, any of there's a potential trade out there or if there's a UFA guy that we like, an unrestricted free agent, and really honing in on this draft. What we'd like to do is hopefully sometime, at some point, get a young guy that's, yeah. that can come in and you can build your program around. And a lot of the, the, the two Super Bowl teams, for example, right. the Aaron Rodgers of the world and the Ben Roethlisberger yeah. of the world, and you look at all the teams that are in the playoffs and they have quarterbacks. I think quarterbacks could make a difference in this league. And when they started, they had the veteran there kind of giving them tutelage along the way. Right. And, and then they had you know, the, uh, Joe Webb as well. They right. there were three of them. And, and, you know, Joe did extremely very pleased with yes. Joe Webb and what he did towards the end of the season. And for a young rookie that was a third quarterback that didn't get many reps in practice to get thrown out there and some of the right. things you've seen him do in the Philadelphia game and even in the Detroit game with only two days of prep because of what happened in Philadelphia. He did a lot of very positive things um, that, that we're excited about. There's a lot of Viking fans out there that are bristling on this Super Bowl day about Brett Favre being 
already welcomed back by the Packers. There's this love fest going on. Does that drive you crazy when you hear that after he, he's barely taken off his purple jersey? And all no, right. yeah, I mean, it's all part of it. it. It's, you know, Brett came in and did a great job for us while yeah. I was here. Um, you know, got us close to getting to the Super Bowl last year. Things didn't go as smoothly this year as you would have hoped. But, uh, Put mildly. Yeah, but, you know. Brett Favre is always going to be a great player yeah. and, and will always be remembered as a great player. Well, you have a lot of work to do, and we're, we're behind you. Congratulations on all the good moves that you guys are already making. And Godspeed. Have a great season ahead. Looking forward to it. Thank you. Rick Spielman in the house. Great to have him here on Super Bowl Sunday. By the way, who are you picking today? You didn't ask me a stadium question. I was trying to get prepared we'll for that. We'll get to the stadium <laughs> next time, I promise. I'm going to pick either one. One of those two will win. He's so diplomatic. Hey, don't forget you can get all the updates at GameOnTVMN.com. We'd love for you to go there. You can get past shows, too. You can keep watching this show over and over again. We'd love to have you do that. Brandon on baseball, the boss on MMA. The new one is Holt on hockey. Tori Holt on hockey and Shockers Locker as well on the Vikings. Our partner is the fan site, PurplePride.org. So check us out. It's Game on TV. MN.com. More ahead in just a moment. Everything that goes into a Linux system is engineered for absolute comfort. Like the parts that create your perfect temperature and humidity. Or the parts that purify the air. Together, all these parts save you up to half off your heating and cooling bills. And there are few things more comforting than that. The future of home comfort is here now at Liberty Comfort Systems. Get the latest in innovation and technology at Liberty Comfort Systems. Linux. Innovation never felt so good. Walling, Berg, and Deebly believes in families. We understand and support families in all their many forms. And when legal problems arise in the family, Walling, Berg, and Deebly is there. Walling, Berg, and Deebly the premier family law firm of Minnesota. When you need us, call 612-326-3453 or visit wbdlaw.com. Definitely Green Bay Packers. Why? Offense. <laughs> we got a better offense. <laughs> Welcome back. It's Super Bowl. It's game on. Powered by the Courtside Bar Grill. Delighted you're with us. And you got to know who this gentleman is. The all-time winningest coach in college football. John Gallardi is in the house. Coach. My pleasure. Pleasure is all ours. We're honored to have you with us. And 62 years in coaching. And uh, you've got a lot of players out there. A lot of players in football. That's for sure. Yeah. And you're still coaching. Well, fortunately, I like what I'm doing. And, and fortunately, we've probably won a few more than we've lost so they haven't fired me yet <laughs> he's very modest let's show you the file too this is the legendary file winning his coach in college football 478 wins over 62 seasons he started coaching at 16 years old back in 1943 four national championships 30 conference titles the the number that i love the best 78 percent winning percentage which means so over three out of the four games you play you win and you win with nose. Now, if you've never been to a St. John's game or haven't watched, this is a fascinating element. Win with nose means no hitting in practice, no extraneous weight training. Tell us what the extent of winning with nose means. Well, we a lot of things we don't do that every, everybody else seems to be doing. We start with, uh, like, no scholarships, no... Uh, long practices no when you say no hitting we do a lot of hitting but it's controlled right controlled scrimmage so no compulsory weight lifting no a yeah. lot of things like that how'd you come by that coach because you've had you've been doing it for years well we probably came from by it because uh we we didn't have so many great players you know right nobody does not even the pros you know if they lose a, a key guy they're in trouble right and uh, we we always were protecting the key guy, right? And so we we toned down the the, uh, the practices so we prevent injuries. And uh, like for example, way back in the early 50s, those are biblical times, I know, but uh, <laughs> but we hurt Jim Lehman, the father of Tom Lehman, you oh, know, yes. the great yes. golfer, yes. and. Uh, 
that that threw us in a little tailspin, you know. After that, we uh, we cut out completely the because whatever we accomplished in the in the in the practice, right. we lost because of this great player. Yeah, and so we. I think that taught me a big lesson. It's preventative all the way, and and you found a way to keep winning, and you keep winning. Well, it's no accident. I hope my president of the college is listening. <laughs> <laughs> we we have more with coach in just a couple of minutes here on this game on Super Bowl edition. Time now for who's hot and who's cold. Brought to us by Liberty Comfort Systems. And who's hot? It's the NHL All Star Game. Believe it or not, their All Star Game was the best of the bunch old style picking of sides for teams just like we used to do when we were kids line up two guys picking the players that's exactly what they do all-star games are hard to watch these days but the nhl's game was not nice move the wild all they got to do is win at home from the nhl side now who's cold it's got to be number four barely out of the twin cities and he's snuggling up with the very packers that he vowed to beat he's a diva a little bit of a drama queen maybe washed up whatever you want to call a lot of Viking fans have been having names for him here but Favre really angered the purple faithful to no end with those new revelations of making up with the Green Bay Packers this quickly it's all too much for some of the Viking fans that's who's hot and who's cold brought to us by Liberty Comfort Systems more in just a moment get ready to enter the hive Rule number one, always wear a helmet. Rule number two, don't blink. Swarm Lacrosse returns to the XL Energy Center. For tickets, call 1-888-MN-SWARM or visit mnswarm.com. How to order a pizza. Step one, decide on toppings. And Pizza Man says, remember, cheese is included and only extra cheese is considered a topping. Step two, pick up or delivery. And if you choose delivery, don't forget to tip the delivery person. Step three, call Pizza Man for the TV special. Step four, call Pizza Man in Minoka, home of the heavy toppings. I mean, the Hall of Fame is great, uh, but I think getting the number retired, I look right now over the you know left field wall, I see 42, 34, Kirby Puckett, Ken Herbeck, you know, Tony Oliva, yeah. Rod Carew, Harmon Killebrew, and there's going to be a 28 up there in the summer. And it'd be pretty cool because this stadium will be standing a long time and my number will always be there and people yeah. will say, who the heck was 28? <laughs> Great to see Burt Blylevin and more Twins Talk next week and as we get closer to spring training right here on Game On. Check our website for more information. Super Bowl Game On, Coach Gillardi is in the house. I asked you this earlier, but how old are you now? I'm only 84. 84 years old and you're still coaching. That's just remarkable. I, I'm still here. That's the key. <laughs> you still hate to lose. Don't like it at all. Don't like it at all. But you still are passionate about it, but you don't get too upset by losses, but you don't like to lose. Well, pretty rough on a guy. But you still care about the game that you've been a part of for six decades. Yeah. What, how, how does that work? Well, it's kind of, what I really like most about it is I'm around 18 to 22 year old guys all my whole life. Yes. And uh, the scene never changes. I'm around 18 to 22, and I don't look in any mirrors, and I think, well, I guess nothing's changing. Yeah. I, when I look in the mirror, I find out some things are changing. You know. Any of those numbers important to you uh, from a personal perspective? Because you've had time to reflect. It's been a, a, a while since you became the all-time winningest coach. Do those numbers mean anything, or do they mean more to your family? Probably more to my family. Right. I, I, I don't know. I just uh, every game is critical. It seems like, right. you, and uh, if you lose one, it seems like it. Well, it takes a, at least a week till the next game to get over it. Yeah. I don't know why it takes. It's so hard to get over. You know, and I've talked to some of the coaches in the MIAC, the football coaches, and they give you direct credit for making it a more competitive league on on many many fronts. 
everybody's gunning for you every single week. That's got to be tough. That's not easy. It isn't easy. Because there are a lot of good teams, a lot of good coaches. Right. And it's not, not, not an easy job every week to play the kind of teams we play. Uh, do you find that the kids are as passionate now as they were 10, 20, 30, well, in your case, 60 years ago? <laughs> yeah, they are. They're, I find the kind of guys we get, they're really good, top-notch people. And in that time, 60 years on, most of them have become really great in great careers and yeah. great successes in every field imaginable. What really bothers me the most is most of them are retired now, yeah. a lot of them. <laughs> and you keep going. <laughs> okay. And we have just a couple of seconds. i got to ask you on this Super Bowl Sunday, do you have any one memory that is the most important to you? No, there's so many great memories that I, it's hard to distinguish one of them. I know. It's like asking me, if we, we've not had a, a Hall of Fame at St. John's because you've got too many guys. Right. Pretty hard for us to decide. Well, I know you have a big anniversary coming up near Valentine's Day, so give our best to your lovely wife. Well, thank you. And thank you. thank you for being with us. Part of the Mayak Minute, legendary coach John Gillardi in the house on the Super Bowl. We're honored that you were with us. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Hey, don't forget, you can get caught up on the Wolves and the NBA. Just check out my blog at Simon Says at Timberwolves.com. Has all the latest information. Great NBA site full of inside information, strong Wolves viewpoints, all at your fingertips. It's interactive, so drop me a note. It's rod at GameOnTVMN.com. Rod at GameOnTVMN.com. And look for a new Simon Says blog every Thursday, 11 a.m. at Timberwolves.com. When you need to move around the metro, call on City View White Knight Limousine. They take care of us with town cars, limousines, SUVs. City View is safe, reliable, and they will handle your needs. Get them on the web at cityviewlimo.com. Walling, Berg, and Deebly believes in families. We understand and support families in all their many forms. And when legal problems arise in the family, Walling, Berg, and Deebly is there. Walling, Berg, and Deebly, the premier family law firm of Minnesota. When you need us, call 612-326-3453 or visit wbdlaw.com. What's your 99? Wendy's new 99 cent everyday value menu now has even more tasty ways to get what you want for 99 cents. My nine for 99. The all-new Bacon 99er with thick applewood smoked bacon. Or the new crispy chicken Caesar wrap with tender all-white meat chicken. 99. Now there's nine tasty choices for 99 cents. So, you're looking for a night out with the guys. Guy stuff. Sports. Beer. Fun. What about catching a Wolves game? The Guys Night Out Package gives you a ticket, beer, hot dog, and a chance to meet the Timberwolves dancers all for just 15 bucks. That sounds like guy stuff. Log on to Timberwolves.com to get your tickets today. Welcome back. It's Game On, powered by the Courtside Bar and Grill on the Super Bowl Sunday. You know this familiar face. Great to have Don Mitchell in the house from Fox 9. And you're busy covering the Super Bowl, your first Super Bowl ever. Ever to go professionally. I remember years ago I was in San Diego when the Packers were in it before, but I was just living there and taking part in the free events, being yeah. the, the poor college kid on vacation, and it was great. But Yes, as an adult working, this is going to be fantastic. Now, people might remember you have a lot of Chicago in your background. You've covered the Vikings a long, long time. So there's a familiarity, a, a, a like of those teams. And you don't really care who wins between the Steelers and Packers, I was surprised to hear. You know, for two seasons, I also covered the Packers when I was in Milwaukee. So I do have a little affinity, but none of the players that I covered are still on the team. Right. However, you know, you know they're a great team. But I do know Spate, Matt, yep. from Pittsburgh. And then there's Mike Tomlin. Mike Tomlin and, and Me Weldy Moore. Me Weldy Moore. 
as I like to call them, high ankle sprain. I'm sorry, me weldy. But uh, yes, so you know what? It's nice to go there and be totally unbiased because my native Patriots are not in it. The Vikings are not in it. I can just strictly go and work it. It's nice. It's going to be a great football game because of all the elements that kind of work against each other, the Packer offense against that vaunted Steeler defense and so much more. You know, and the way Aaron Rodgers has been playing now, it's definitely Aaron Rodgers who's earned his stripes to right. go up against Ben Roethlisberger. So you've got two great quarterbacks. You've got a great defense is going at it which offense is playing the best might be the the reason why the winner walks away with you know the big old Vince Lombardi so I think it's gonna be a great game so when people see you on the air at all hours here on Fox 9 what they don't know is how hard you're always working to create something new for a different newscast. Take them through that real quickly. Well, I know that we'll be every morning at 4.30, so that'll be shot the night before and pre-taped, and I'm sorry, but then I'll be live on the buzz. Yeah. So we're hoping to Skype into the buzz, and then I'll be live at 5, 9, and 10, and somewhere in between there, I actually have to go to the events yeah. and figure out what's going on and, and turn it around. So constantly going, coffee is going to be my friend. You like coffee? I, I've learned to like coffee. <laughs> Do you have a favorite sport out of all these? Because you cover, I see you everywhere, and you've covered so many of them. And I, I know you like hockey. Love is, hockey. is that your favorite sport? Hockey, center ice, at an NHL game, with an, uh, a Coca-Cola in hand, yeah. it, it is the best to be at. Just for me, because I'm a little ADD and I like things to go fast, and I really yeah. like to be there. But however, you know, I've had the opportunity. I was the baseball hockey girl in Boston, yeah. Yeah. you know, and then then now football here, and then also as basketball when I was in Milwaukee with the Bucks. So it's interesting to hone your specifics on one sport yeah. and then enjoy the rest. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's kind of cool. It's almost like each new season, I take a breath and remember why I love that sport even more. And when you see the end of the game later on on this Sunday after Glee, you'll be on that late night newscast and tell people when you're leaving Dallas. I found that funny. Yeah, it's me after Glee. That's what we're saying. So don't turn the channel. Me after Glee. And then we have to be back at the airport at 5 a.m. And our shows, I probably won't get back to the hotel till 1, maybe 2. Pack your bag. Hopefully we can find somewhere yeah. to eat. Dallas yeah. hopes to open late. And then, yeah, be back at the airport at 5 a.m. You guys do a great job. Thank you for being Thank on you. with us. Great to have you here. I love being here. Thank you very much. Don Mitchell, watch her on Fox 9 on this big Super Bowl Sunday. Hey, don't forget, it's time now for the Wheels of Thunder week ahead. And a big week it is. The Wolves have the Philadelphia 76ers on the 12th. There you see the Wild against Colorado. Boston invades the Swarm Den at uh, the 19th of February. Gophers get Ohio State later on today, then the Super Bowl. Twin spring training, 17 days away. Vikings training camp is 175 days. NFL alumni, don't forget, you can be part of a big charity event for the NFL alums, caring for kids on the 26th of February and golf, the Minnesota Golf Show, February 18th and 20th. And quickly before we leave, some final thoughts. Craig Carter is the GM here at Courtside Bar and Grill. I'm going to be out here all day watching the football game. you got a lot in addition to all the food and drink specials. We do. We're going to have an appetizer buffet at halftime, all you can eat. Um, we're going to be giving away four authentic Vikings jerseys at the end of each quarter, so you don't have to be a Packer fan like myself yeah. or a Pittsburgh fan, so you can come out, all you Viking fans. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll just have a great time down. I'm giving away tickets to the Swarm and the Wolves. The bottom line is if you want to come out and see it, you got big screens everywhere. How we many? Do. We got 11 total TVs. So it's courtside bar and grill. We'd love to have you out. Come out and say hi. We'll talk game on. We'll talk the Super Bowl and we'll talk Packers and Steelers. Packers, baby. Thanks for being a part of our great day. Check out our website, gameontvmn.com for all the latest updates. And we'll see you out here for live taping on Tuesdays. I'm Rod Simons. Thanks for being with us. Have a great Super Bowl Sunday.